Hey guys, Randy with Lowbuck LS here again. Uh, one question I get quite a bit is what device should I use with PCM Hammer or Tutor Pro or Universal Patcher? And what I'm recommending is this OBDX Pro VT. So thought I'd do a quick video today on how to set it up and install the drivers and use it with PCM Hammer. So if you're interested in that, stick around. We'll get right into it. guys today's video is brought to you by lowbuckls.com if you need a pcm or wiring harness for your gen 3 ls swap go check out lowbuckls.com slash store now let me flip the camera around and i will show you the setup i've got on my desk up here in camp in fort mcmurray for uh um, testing out this obdx pro vt and uh using it with pcm hammer all right, so I've got this OBDX Pro VT plugged into a bench harness here, connected up to a P01 512 kilobyte uh, PCM out of a 2002 5.3 truck. And I don't have this USB cable hooked up yet because you got to install the drivers first. So we'll hop over to the uh, laptop view here and I'll show you how to install the drivers for the uh, OBDX Pro VT and get it working with PCM Hammer. One other thing I wanted to point out, if you are outside of the United States, um, this has to ship from Australia if you're outside of the States. So even though I'm in Canada, right next door to the United States, uh, I had to order it from Australia. Uh, it took quite a while to get here, but if you're in the States, that won't be a problem. All right, so we got the laptop view fired up here. So the first thing you need to do if you want to use the OBDX Pro VT with PCM Hammer is get the drivers. So if you go to obdxpro.com and the downloads are all under this downloads tab here, but First, in order to open any downloads, you have to have an account set up. I've already got an account set up because this is the site that I ordered the uh, interface from. So in order to do that, I had to set up an account. So I'll just log in with my existing username and password. And now we can go to the downloads tab. And there's gonna be uh, a bunch of different options to choose from here um, we're not using the pro gt so this is the one we want here obdx pro vt windows usb driver there are there's an obd explorer and a j2534 api i've tried using this device as a j2534 tool but didn't have much luck and i didn't have much luck using it over Bluetooth as well, but might just be this old laptop of mine it doesn't have Bluetooth built in, so I was using like an add on Bluetooth adapter, so it might have been a problem with that. But uh, I just use it with a hardwired USB cable, and I think that's better, anyways. You're relying on electrons flowing through a wire rather than Bluetooth data being transmitted through the air so um and you don't want to plug in your uh, obdx pro vt yet until you've got this driver downloaded so we'll click on this and should see it start downloading here and it looks like it's already done yep so just go into the folder where it downloaded and click on this OBDX VT driver installer. And when this window opens up, hit next. And this window will pop up. It'll take a minute or two and it's gonna look like it's not doing anything, but just wait until this window disappears. And like I said, it'll take a minute or two. Okay, now that that window has disappeared, 
we can see that the driver wizard has been successfully installed so we can exit out of that uh, now I'm going to plug the USB cable that's connected to the interface into my laptop just plugged it in now if you right click on your start menu down here we'll go up to device manager and then look under ports com and LPT and you can see here it has installed OBDX Pro Serial as COM10 and we'll need to remember that when we fire up PCM Hammer. So let's go do that now. We will fire up PCM Hammer and try and pull the bin file out of this uh, PCM that I've got on the, on the desk here. So as usual, you open up your PCM Hammer folder, scroll down to the PCM Hammer application, double click on that, uh, and it's looking for OBDX Pro on COM11, which I was playing around this with this before, and it's not going to find it on COM11 because we just saw that it was on COM10. So we will set it up like you'll have to for the first time. So. Again, I tried using it once as a J2534 connection, that didn't work, so you want to select this serial port device, uh, then select COM10 or whatever device it shows up as for you in Device Manager, and Device Type, we're going with OBDX Pro, and then I move this window out of the way here so I can see the console or whatever you want to call it in PCM Hammer and we'll go test and it has said device found and successfully initialized and ready so for some reason all my windows are grayed out here and same with to read the PCM. So I'm just going to close PCM Hammer and reopen it here. I guess I didn't have to close that last window, but. Once again, we'll go click on PCM Hammer. And again, it's trying to find it on COM 11. We want it to be on COM10. We'll test. It's found it. Okay. Hmm, weird. Maybe I didn't hit OK last time or something, but anyways, now it is set up and ready to go. So same as usual, anytime I'm connected to a new PCM with PCM Hammer, I go read properties. And you can see the VID number and the OS ID. And now we can go up here and go read entire PCM. Uh, we'll just call it YouTube test. And our PCM has been powered on for more than 10 seconds. And it'll do its thing here. And you can see here that it is transferring the bin file from the PCM at a little over 30 kilobytes per second and it is going to take about two minutes to pull the bin file out of this P01 PCM if it was a P59 or a one megabyte PCM it would take longer it's got more data to pull out of there and you can see it's done pulling the file it's just verifying the checksums and clearing trouble codes and it has saved the contents to the file i uh, labeled earlier and you can see it took two minutes and 15 seconds which is about the speed of you know, a J2534 tool or, you know, the expensive, my Mongoose Pro is like a 
four or five hundred dollar cable and this transfers the file just as fast or faster for about 80 bucks instead of a few hundred dollars so there you go that is how you use the obdx pro vt with pcm hammer if you want to know how to build that bench harness that i use to hook up to this pcm i'll put a link to that video here and we will see you on the next one